Well, it's about 20 past one that same day. Rain is mostly stopped, although you see spots on the puddles. And the road is mostly cleared. So we've got pretty good drainage. Let's see if I can go and see what's happened at the uh, shed. Before I get to the shed, these guys are straightening out uh, reinforcement rods. They come as 12 metre length, fold in half for easy transport. But then of course you've got to try and straighten them out again. That's a bit challenging. And there's my good Aldi mallet. Finlander end to end. He's uh, working to establish a, a plane for the uh, render. It's going to be fairly fit and we'll do it all apparently. These guys are doing complex form work. I wonder how often they actually go and look at my design. Uh, if we've got six metre rails that Ezra sourced for the uh, crane rails, uh, by my calculation, they're actually going to project through that end wall by about a centimetre. So I hope they don't do it will block that. As mentioned in the previous video, Dad Egg and Rose were out uh, Hello. <laughs> buying uh, more materials today. The work continues. And I was wondering whether I'm getting power to operate the angle grinder here. Uh, for cutting tiles, but because the grid is not performing at the moment, but I see there's a lead that goes across, is plugged into the power board at the carpentry shop over here, slash cement storage, and that, that goes back to uh, the off grid outlet on the house. Fortunately there is about 3 kilowatts or a bit more of uh, solar power feeding into the, the back, well, feeding into the system at the moment, so probably 2 kilowatts of that feeding the batteries. There we go. 3.5 three three kilowatts of the sun. Oh, it's too dark. Uh, so it's 3.5 kilowatts from the sun, 1.3 kilowatts drain and the batteries are at 51.3 percent and it's just gone half past one so we may or may not get back up to 100 percent today on batteries Not particularly cool because the AC is not on. I've just got to use a fan. Well, here we are near end of day, and it looks like they've loaded that top form up there. Interesting. Well, we have a bit of sunshine towards the end of the day here. Not sure it'll be enough. Because um, we ended the night, like I got up this morning at 50% charge on the batteries but it continued to drop because of the very dull conditions and got down to uh, something in the low 30s and now it's back up to about 68.5 uh, based on starting last night with 100% and getting down to just on the 50 overnight I figure I need to have at least 50% in hand to start the night 
which means I need to get above 70% because the 20% threshold, the system shuts down power to the house. So, I might have to go and uh, see what we're like on dusk and see whether I need to run the generator for a while. But I can do that at need. So we've got the start of the diagonal braces in the uh, quarters. So, uh, a bit of steel work there. There's all the steel work to go up on the cross piece and the, the beam that runs end to end and these other cross pieces, so there's quite a bit more steel work to be done yet. We've got more render on there. Where you see those uh, bars in the uh, render, that's basically their, um, they're showing the plane of the surface when it's all straight. That's what the guy was doing over there before, was setting up those knobs on the wall to set up the uh, plane of the render. It's a pretty busy area at the moment, in terms of full of stuff. Let's go and have a look outside and see what more steel there is out at the, in the parking area. So I'm guessing that big one there is uh, to run the length on the top of that uh, back set of columns. There's a few short ones there. Uh, another one of these will be for along the uh, back of the uh, columns on the back apron which will have another uh, spouting gutter rainwater gutter on it leading to the west end but yeah it's progressing haven't seen Dadang and Azra all day so I wonder if that means they're still on their mission to buy more steel or, oh, sorry, um, the roofing materials, the gal galvanised U-channel, like that piece there, which gets uh, screwed together into um, web trusses. And then the sheets of uh, galvanised sheet, just like in the back roof of, well, same stuff you see up on our uh, pagoda over, over the tank stand. It's the same stuff on our back patio. Well, it rained a little again overnight, but uh, nothing like previous nights. But <laughs> sky's looking pretty grey over there, so I think we're going to get more of it later. But, uh, looks like the start of the foundation beam for the uh, fences going up will be wide I heard some of the uh, reinforcement rods being dragged past the house earlier from down the uh, rice factory So I'm sure they're just doing more form work and rendering currently. Yep, more still working and woodworking. I have no idea what stage we're up to with the uh, rainwater tanks, whether they're uh, being tiled with inside or not. Difficult to get a view. Obviously, before we can start putting water in them, we've got to put uh, valves on those uh, outlets. Meantime, filing is still going on on uh, Lizu's back patio.
Well, it's afternoon and it's sunny, which means that my batteries are fully charged. Hooray! I actually ran the generator for a while on dusk last night to get the uh, batteries up to about 72% just to make sure I had enough to last overnight. <laughs> so you're using the new cart. Woohoo! Let's go a bit closer and see what's happening. So we've got a base for the uh, wall being constructed. What I refer to as ring beam, normally. So they will uh, continue that through across the back of the uh, shed. So there's a bit of siphoning going on from the, uh, the service pit. So I'm not going to be raining concrete down. I'd uh, go and get one of my uh, submersible pumps and a solar panel. I'll let the sun push all that out of there. Uh, that can wait. So it appears to be the usual combination of rendering, formwork, and more rendering, and steel work. So, uh, more rendering over the corner. Lots of work going on. Okay, we're getting the form work, form work. We're getting the form work up for the uh, rain gutter along the back. So there'll be a lot more steel working to uh, create that. More concrete and steel in the sky. So it's apparently going to 1.2 metres long here, but uh, that corner is higher, I wonder why. Well, it's time for the end of day uh, check up, so here we are with uh, sand at the front, rock at the front, more sand at the front, and a whole bunch of guys moving steel. <laughs> So, uh, we have a roof, it just has to be assembled. So it's being deposited in front of the uh, rice factory. Maybe they'll build the trusses here and carry them down. And as you can hear, the rice factory is running, doing some rice polishing. That sort of happens on demand. When somebody turns up saying they need some rice cleaned, it gets run. I lost my uh, end of day video from last night. <laughs> I toggled the record button in the wrong way. So uh, I didn't get what I was recording. But it uh, hasn't rained as much overnight. So it's relatively dry. The sun is shining, so the batteries are charging well. And the machine's been run to produce a batch of uh, mortar slash render. So, uh, uh, business as usual. No, it's a piece of bamboo going up. I wonder what that's doing. You can see the foundation for the uh, wall slash fence is continuing down to the end by the look of it. Doing the formwork for that uh, guttering along the back. I'll do the base formwork, then weave some steel on top of it. I'll do the rest of the formwork, I guess. But they're doing the uh, end wall ring beam formwork at the moment. wonder when the formwork will come off the front one. I don't know how many days they're going to give that to cure. Well, it's the afternoon circuit and uh, rendering of the outside of the north wall is beginning. Oh. I need to go 
the other way. So obviously when you're on the inside there's a lot of balls going on as well by those legs. And this thing down here is the lower part of the inside of the north wall. So there's three lots of rendering going on concurrently. See what else I can see. Oh, there's still wooden formwork to be done yet. For the uh, cross beams and the spine beam. I've got all of the uh, corner diagonals formed up. See what I can see outside. So there's still see steel weaving going on on the ground. More bits being bent. And cut. And uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot of the back bit up there. It's quite a bit, few bits required for that. Step three, you can see where the uh, slanting bits are going down. See if I can get a view from the other end. The base of the walls woven all the way to the end to the current end. So that'll get concrete poured into a, a uh, form and then bricks laid on top. And presumably there'll be another uh, reinforcement strip like that along the top. Again, it'll be very strong. So there's still form work going up for this back corner. But yeah, there's a, a lot more steel weaving to be done yet for the uh, that back uh, guttering up there. And then once that's been formed up to come across, come up to the end here, then there's going to be a sloping part down to join up with the bit from the front there to go into the tank. Quite a complex process. Wonder if there's anything to be seen inside the tank. I guess I'll have to have a look later. It's the end of day walk around. Um, I think there, can't remember, it might be another truck of sand there from what there was last night. Uh, yeah, the pile at the front there is gone. And that road crossing has uh, broken up a bit more. Really have to work on that. But you can hear the uh, rice factory running. So this is the trim for around the edges. Plank. So it's some sort of uh, wood grain uh, cement like sheet. Uh, lots and lots of uh, sea channel. The rolls up there might be the um, barrier stuff they put underneath, like up, under our uh, patio, back patio. I don't think that's all the sheets of galvanised iron. I think that there'll be more than that. Doesn't look like it up there to cover the roof. And yes, lots of steel. Well, since I was here earlier, I've closed up some of the gaps in the uh, formwork for the, those rails, but um, there's obviously another lot of firm formwork you put on that cross rail. The metal work for the uh, small sloping rails and the uh, back rain channel is continuing. There'll be a fair bit more of that yet. Well, I've laid the uh, rods up there for that sloping beam for the top rail. Um, obviously there's a lot more work to be done putting the little rectangular cages around those to 
blow it out to the right shape. But, uh, yep, coming along. Ah, oh, there they are down there. That's the... That's the pieces they'll use to uh, space the rods up there apart using little bits of wire. Now I'm going to have another go at trying to look in this back tank. I think I figured out now why I, how I was not holding the camera right. So let's see if we can get a look at the floor. There we go, that should be a better look at what's happening in the, in the back tank. Ah, this, this appears to be so where some of that rocky fill has come to. More rocks. So we might even get a solid path across to the, <laughs> the back at some stage. Still say uh, a corduroy road made out of bamboo would work. Now if I can hold this high enough up here to get a view inside. Again, I'll look at that later and see what I get. Uh, using the pressure washer on the uh, machine to try and clean it up a bit. It's, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna have to go and look at my state of charge now because that thing sucks 2100 watts. So if they do it for a long time, I'm gonna start getting nervous because it's uh, no more solar input today. Meantime, looks like the tiling's almost done here. Shouldn't be long before we go see a tank here. Well, looks like Dadding's setting up to have a barbecue again. Building a fire for it. But um, yeah, I should uh, go and see how much video I've got and whether I should do another upload. Because we might be getting long enough.